Today, Precarious plays... Fire Emblem! And now for these Knights of Lycia. You are going to share your story with me. Yes. We have ventured from... Kaylin? Kaylin. Kaylin, thank you, because it's like Caitlin. We That's how I'm doing it. Kaylin. Kaylin and Lycia in search of someone. Lycia, that's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our lord, the Marquis of Kaylin's only daughter. He was heartbroken his own daughter would abandon himself. Eventually, the Marquis simply declared that he had no daughter. And then this year, we received a letter from... A late... <laughs> We received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Sakai Plains. Hmm. The Marquis was ecstatic to learn that he had a granddaughter of 18 years. But I... I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. But that's... <laughs> this was also the name of the Marquis's wife. I know! Cause she's who passed away at an early age. Yes, <laughs> Lindis. That she should bear this name thawed the Marquis's heart. Now his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. That's gonna be a problem. This is why we're here. <laughs> I can take you to the cotton field with, or the linen field where they're buried. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I didn't know that the lady Madeline, the, the lady Madeline died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulga. But we also learned all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. Because that's... We heard that she was living alone on the plains. Like, quite a lot like someone like... Aye, we knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? <laughs> <laughs> your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What, did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portrait in Castle Kailin. Wait, Kailin, 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 gosh. I to the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. But when I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It's all so strange. I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather? Lindis. I never thought I'd hear that name again. Doop, doop, doop. Wait. That bandit, he called me Lindis too. Uh-oh. What? How could he have? He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren. Lund Lundgren. Is the D just silent? Is it Lundgren? I think it's like the shape that your tongue is supposed to make before Lundgren. you go to G. Lundgren, then. Lundgren. Lord Lunchmeat. Lord Lunchmeat, wasn't he? <laughs> Lunchmeat? Who's that? <laughs> he's the Marquis. Er, <clears throat> he's the Marquis' younger brother. Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Lunchmeat heir to the Marquis' title. To be blunt, my lady, your existence is an obstacle to your grand uncle's ambitions. That's. But I have no interest in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your grand uncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Kill him. I mean, accompany us to Kaelin. <laughs> Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. I will go with you. And then Sane high fives himself. <sighs> Lark, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Lark? You want... Ah! You want me to decide? Ah! Of course your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but... <laughs> It's going to be so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. <sighs> Footsteps of fate. We save. <clears throat> Here, you can narrate this. Small or little, no, I can't. 
Saying so many words in sequence is hard. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Baldur. Let me do it. Fine, do it. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sasi. No, Sakai. No, Sakai. <laughs> or something or other has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers <laughs> come here to pray for their well-being. And now, only Lindis. At can... <laughs> this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Of all four elements. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I've got like two like important person voices. It's the fake dude voice and the like, uh, like, I don't know, fantasy huffy lady voice. Mm -hmm. That's like the two. I got two of them, man. Lark, hold on a moment and allow me a <laughs> short detour. There is a sacred sword enshrined in an altar east of here. The people of Sakai go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. You gotta watch out for that period. I oh, do. How quaint. quaint. The teachings of... <laughs> Sorry. Ella, Elamine. Elamine? Sure. Elamine. Have the most followers and... Oh, Jesus. You guys, come on. LB. 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 Maybe Elamine, LB. LB. Elamine Elabe. Okay, sure. Or Elibe. It's nice to see that here, at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Well. <laughs> well, <laughs> ancient customs of bandits still observed. Old men, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Run me as you will, but I will not give up the manicotti. It is our best pasta. <laughs> the <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just always thought it sounded like a pasta. The Manicotti is a sacred blade under divine protection. Cannot be removed from its place of rest, otherwise it'll get cold. <laughs> You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if you don't use it? Use it in combat? Sacrilicious! <laughs> Sacrilicious? I'm a glass. What? I am glass. That is my name. <laughs> okay. It is not weird for me to be named glass. The gods of the gods fear my name. My <laughs> sword play is peerless. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Uh. Oh, call it. <laughs> Bam. Well, you must be from Fire Emblem, huh? Radiant Dawn slash Path of Radiance, you just smack that guy. This is it. The more magnificent than I'd imagined. The more? Shut up. <laughs> this sword was made for a swordsman of my skill, and if you are confident, no one notices your mistakes. Hmm, what's this? I can't draw the sword from its scabbard? The spirits of the blade have judged you, dick. <laughs> you have been found wanting. They have rejected you! What? Listen, you senile old fool. If you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight. Oof. <laughs> Biff. Bam. <laughs> Smack. Curses, miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. Tear this altar down stone by stone. Spiteful little bastard. <clears throat> hey, by the way. <laughs> I beg your pardon, my lady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priests there. I saw a band of local ruffians heading there not long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The pasta? They're going to steal it? Yeah, it's fucking delicious. I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please help him. It's so much he can't eat it all himself. Lendis, what are you planning? <clears throat> If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Lark? Bah. There are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. Well... Okay, the three buildings to the south are homes. You can speak with the people who live there. They sometimes give you combat hints or useful <laughs> information about the land and feed the people the pays delicious. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Right. Shall I take the lead? All right. Oh, they're gonna make us do it. Tell me what you would like me to do, Lark. Please don't make me. Yes, we're going to have to. Watch. Okay. 
good. Talk about some interesting stuff while I do this. Okay, that's fine. 